Hey, how's it going? It's Michael here with a brand new Cloverfield topic video. 10 Cloverfield Lane has been out for quite some time now, and it still has many unanswered questions. One of the more mysterious elements from the film is with one of the main characters, Howard Stambler. He had many secrets in 10 Cloverfield Lane, and only a few eventually surfaced. For this video, we'll be talking about Howard before 10 Cloverfield Lane, so let's get into it. Howard Stambler is one of the main characters seen in 2016's 10 Cloverfield Lane, and we're introduced to him as a paranoid survivalist and conspiracy nut only to discover his conspiracies were correct and these conspiracies tie into his life before the events of the film. As stated in the movie, Howard was formerly in the Navy. While there, he was also into conspiracies and slowly started to discover more and more information, leading him to become only more paranoid and extreme. Over the years, his discoveries and time spent with the United States Navy, Howard learned many skills such as survival skills, medical knowledge, culinary skills, military training, manipulation, and more. Howard lived at 10 Cloverfield Lane for quite some time with his family, and he continued his conspiracy endeavors there, which ultimately led to his family leaving and moving to Houston from Louisiana. Connecting to the previous films, Howard from 10 Cloverfield Lane actually worked for for the company Tag Rado, seen both in Cloverfield and in 10 Cloverfield Lane, also in the manga Kishin. Essentially, they were an organization in the original that had a significant impact to the background story of the first movie. Specifically, he worked for one of their subsidiaries called Bold Futura, a branch of Tag Rado that was supposedly responsible for the attack. Howard's title there was as a telemetry analyst. As seen in the vile marketing online, it details that he celebrated his seventh year anniversary with Bold Futura during the release of the film, and it highlighted Howard's drive, commitment, and refusal refusal to accept easy answers, resulting in a significant breakthrough diagnosing transmission complications with two of our governmental clients orbiting satellites. Howard worked for both Futura on their satellites, and that's how he knew about the impending alien invasion. With the time spent in the Navy, diving into conspiracy theories, and his time spent at Bold Futura, Howard quickly began to prepare for the events to come, making the bunker that we see in the movie. He hired a local youth, Emma DeWitt, to help construct this bunker. After it was completed, he abducted a young girl named Brittany, and he had her assume the role of Megan in the bunker. Eventually, she was displeased and tried to escape, prompting Howard to murder her. Getting closer to the events of the movie, Howard's conspiracy theory of the aliens came true and the communications in the vicinity of the bunker got eliminated, leading to Emmett entering the bunker, resulting with him having a broken arm and Howard reluctantly allowing him to stay. As the invasion started to continue, Howard comes across a woman in a car, Michelle, who is fleeing from her fiance and runs her off the road, kicking off the events of 10 Cloverfield Lane. Anyway, but that wraps it up for this video on Howard Stambler, aka John Goodman's character before 10 Cloverfield Lane. What did you think about this video? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As as always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Hybrid Network if you haven't already. I'm Michael, signing off for this video. I'll see you next time. Take care.